How can self-discharge be measured in lithium-ion cells? In this video, we will look at a second method of measuring or testing cells for self-discharge. As we discussed in a prior video, self-discharge of an electrical cell is the loss of charge over time while the cell is not connected to any load. In other words, cells will gradually discharge even if they are not connected to anything. Using a simple electrical model of a cell, we also showed how the self-discharge phenomena can be modeled as a resistance, R sub SD, in parallel with the effective capacitance of the cell. In this model, this self-discharge resistance is typically in the range of tens or hundreds of kiloohms. When nothing is connected to the cell, an open circuit condition, the effective capacitance discharges through the high value R sub SD generating a current, I sub D, that can range between a few microamps to a few hundred microamps, depending on cell size. This is the self-discharge current. Over weeks or months, this self-discharge path depletes the stored charge of the cell, thus causing the cell voltage to very gradually decrease. Two of the methods for measuring self-discharge are the open circuit voltage, or OCV method, and the potentiostatic method. In our prior video, we looked at the open circuit voltage method. In this video, we will look at the potentiostatic method. The potentiostatic method gets its name from the fact that the measurement method uses a stable DC source to hold the voltage of the cell constant. The voltage output of this DC source needs to be precisely matched to the open circuit voltage of the cell. Once the DC source output voltage is precisely matched to the cell's open circuit voltage, one might think that this would mean that no current would flow between the DC source and the cell. However, the cell is experiencing self-discharge through R sub SD, which acts to decrease the cell voltage. The DC source then acts to supply just enough current to the cell to keep the cell voltage constant. The potentiostatic method also uses a microammeter to measure the small amount of current flowing from the DC source to keep the cell voltage constant. As long as the cell's voltage is constant, the current flowing from the DC source into the cell is equal to the cell's self-discharge current, I sub D, flowing through R sub SD. A good analogy that helps explain the theory here would be a water tank with a leak at the bottom of the tank. You can't directly measure the leak's rate of flow, but you would like to know what the rate of leakage is. You can add a flow of water into the tank and make that incoming flow such that it keeps the water level of the tank constant. Then, if you can measure the rate of flow going into the tank, you also know the rate of flow leaking out of the tank. The primary advantage of the potentiostatic method of measuring self-discharge is that when executed properly, you can obtain a stable measurement of the self-discharge current very quickly. And you can discern good versus bad cells even faster. Results obtained with an off-the-shelf self-discharge measurement system indicates that for smaller cells, like cylindrical 18650 or 2170 cells, you can determine the stable value of the self-discharge current in as little as 30 minutes to two hours, depending on the cell characteristics. And for larger capacity cells, for example, 10 to 60 amp hour cells, this can take as little as one to two hours. In many applications, such as cell manufacturing tests, you are less interested in measuring the stable self-discharge current value than in quickly discerning good versus bad cells for their self-discharge characteristics. Commercially available potentiostatic systems can make this distinction in just a few minutes. The potentiostatic method can provide results much faster than the weeks or months required by the open circuit voltage method. However, the potentiostatic method is a precision measurement, which must be carefully controlled to be successful. The primary challenge is how closely you can match the cell's OCV with the DC voltage source, and then maintain a high level of voltage stability for the duration of the test. 
Any difference between the DC source voltage and the cell's open circuit voltage will cause the cell to either charge or discharge. And that charge or discharge current flowing through the microammeter will be in addition to the self-discharge current you're trying to measure. In other words, it's noise on top of the signal you desire to measure. To minimize any difference between the DC source voltage and the cell's open circuit voltage, the DC source must quickly and accurately achieve an initial match of the cell OCV, be very low noise and very stable. Another factor that produces differences between the DC source voltage and the cell's OCV is changes in the cell's temperature. Even the small changes in cell voltage, typically caused by cell temperature changes of a few degrees, can have a noticeable impact on the measured self-discharge current. So you need to maintain the cell at a very stable temperature during the short period when the potentiostatic method test is conducted. To summarize the potentiostatic method, stable self-discharge measurement results can be achieved quickly. You can discern good versus bad cells very quickly. But there are issues that you need to be aware of and manage. The potentiostatic method requires precision equipment. The DC source must be very accurate, quickly match the cell's open circuit voltage, be very stable, and have very low noise. You must also control the cell's temperature to prevent cell voltage variation caused by temperature changes. You can learn more about both the OCV and potentiostatic methods of measuring lithium-ion self-discharge and more details about making a successful measurement in our free application note. To download a copy, go to www.keysight.com slash find slash BT2152A and look under the Document Library tab. Thanks for joining us today. For more information on self-discharge, go to www.keysight.com slash find slash self-discharge.